how to uninstall Microsoft OneDrive app in Windows 10. As you can see guys, on my desktop, there is a shortcut here called OneDrive. This shortcut will take me directly into my OneDrive, showing me all my files I have stored there in the cloud. On the bottom right hand corner here, you can see on the taskbar, there is a OneDrive icon here, which is most likely exactly what you have on your computer also. Before we begin the process of uninstalling the Microsoft OneDrive application, we're first going to need to clear the current files that exist within your Microsoft OneDrive. If you don't have a shortcut directly into your Microsoft OneDrive here, what you'll need to do is navigate to the bottom left hand corner here to the search box, left click on it and type this PC. Once you have done that guys, the best match should be this PC application and on the right hand side here, you'll have the opportunity to open the application. Left click on open to open up this PC application. Once you have done that guys, at the top left hand corner here, you should see the OneDrive application, which is a shortcut allowing you to simply left click on it to be taken into your Microsoft OneDrive. If this shortcut on the left hand side here is unavailable, what you'll need to do is go into your Windows C drive. So all I'm going to do is double click on my C drive here, double click on users. Here, you should see a list of users currently available on your computer. For me guys, I only have one username and that is WebSP. Your username will be different to mine. Once you've found your username, double click on it. Once you have done that guys, you should see a list of folders and programs. As you can see, Microsoft OneDrive is right here for me and it should also be for you. So simply double click on it. Once you have done that guys, you'll be taken into your OneDrive. Here what I recommend doing is clearing all files and folders that currently exist on your Microsoft OneDrive. If you don't want to keep any of the files, you can simply delete it. However, if you would like to make a copy of it or a backup, then what I recommend doing here is restoring down this window here and then creating a new folder on your desktop by simply right clicking anywhere on your desktop and navigating to where it says new and left click on folder. Here, call your folder whatever you want it to be. So I'm going to call it OneDrive offline files and hit enter. Once you have done that guys, cut your files and paste them within the folder you have just created. So for me guys, I have two folders here called Websplaining Thumbnails and Websplaining YouTube Videos. So all I'm going to do is highlight these files here and then right click and then left click on cut. Once done, double click on your folder that you have just made on your desktop, right click and left click on paste and you'll have transferred all the files that currently exist on your OneDrive to the folder you have just made on your desktop. Once you've done that guys, you can simply close out of this folder. Now you may have noticed that there is a shortcut still that remains inside the OneDrive app and that is something that cannot be deleted as it comes pre-installed within the OneDrive app. It is nothing to worry about as it's not a file or a folder that you would have placed on your personal Microsoft OneDrive cloud storage. Once you have either transferred your files or deleted them off your Microsoft OneDrive, all you can simply do now is X out of the Microsoft OneDrive folder here. The next thing we need to do is to close the Microsoft OneDrive application. Navigate to the bottom right hand corner here on your taskbar and right click on the Microsoft OneDrive application. Once you have done that, Microsoft OneDrive will open here and a smaller menu will open within Microsoft OneDrive. At the very top, it says open your OneDrive folder and at the very bottom, it says close OneDrive. We're going to be closing OneDrive, so simply left click on close OneDrive. Once you have done that, Microsoft OneDrive will ask you, are you sure you want to close OneDrive? If you close OneDrive, files in your OneDrive folder won't sync with your files online. Simply left click on close OneDrive. Great guys, so OneDrive is now closed. We can begin the process of uninstalling OneDrive now. To do this, simply navigate to the bottom left hand corner here again to your search box, left click on it and then type add or remove. Once you have typed that in, at the top left hand corner here, you should see that the best match is add or remove programs in system settings. Navigate to the right hand side here and left click on open to open up the add or remove programs application. Great guys, once you have done that, 
Apps and features will open in your settings here. What you'll need to do now is search for the OneDrive application. At the bottom here, you'll see a list of all the applications and programs you have installed on your Windows computer. What we need to do now is find the OneDrive application. You can either left click on the search box here and search by type in OneDrive, or you can simply scroll through your applications to find the Microsoft OneDrive app. Once you have found Microsoft OneDrive, simply left click on it. Once done, you'll have the ability to uninstall. Simply left click on uninstall. Once done, a small window will open which says this app and its related info will be uninstalled. Again, left click on uninstall. Once done, the user account control prompt window will open asking you, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? As you can see, it says Microsoft here with the OneDrive logo. You have the option to choose no or yes. Of course, we want to uninstall Microsoft OneDrive, so left click on yes. Once you have done that, Microsoft OneDrive will be completely uninstalled from your device. All right, guys, that pretty much concludes the video on how to uninstall Microsoft OneDrive app in Windows 10. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video. Why is it so